In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my brand new Sony A6300. When I first started making YouTube videos a few months ago, I bought a really cheap entry-level uh, mirrorless SLR. It was the Canon EOS N. And though that little camera has served me pretty well over the last several months, I've decided to step up my game and buy a 4K mirrorless SLR. And that's when I've decided to buy the Sony a6300, and here's a few things I did to it. First off, let's start with the little camera straps. They obviously are making these noises and I don't want them to be heard or audible in my videos, so I'm cutting them off with a bandsaw. This is not a recommended approach, by the way. Now onto the UV filter. I actually use a UV filter for one reason, that's to protect the lens on the camera. Pretty self-explanatory. Now onto the small rig. This little cage uh, mounts up very nicely on the A6300 and will allow me to mount various accessories like microphones, lights, I actually have an audio recording device uh, called the Zoom H1 that I use. It, it'll allow the, the camera to be more versatile for me, uh, having different configurations. There's a lot of different mount points that I could use on this um, small rig. And overall, I just kind of like how the handle gives it a little bit more stability and also it just feels solid in my hand. If there's a chance I don't like it, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys an update, but so far it's been awesome. So lastly is the SD card. I went with a really fast SD card, um, the SanDisk Extreme Pro. If you've seen some of the YouTube reviews about the A6300 and the overheating issues, some people attribute it to a slower memory card. I wanted to avoid any of that altogether, so I got the fastest card I could afford. Well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please click the like button. Um, I hope you subscribe to check out what kind of cool videos I'm going to make with this camera. As always, thanks for watching and see you on the next project.